Good morning, everyone. We're just driving out and the, the bin was right in the middle of the driveway. They've just emptied it. We're on our way, Ash has got something to mail out. I've got Ava to deliver and then we're gonna see if we can get a couple of jobs because Ash is leaving at one, aren't you? Yes. So and is delivered. You can see the sky is trying to break blue. So it will be good. Bought my jacket just in case. Oh, I'm sitting here wondering why I'm hot. My AC is not on, now it's on. So we've uh done our errands, dropped off the Avon, went to CVS, went to the bank, pulled into Wegmans, took a small order, which we're now going to go deliver. It is 10.41. Oh, shoot. And this one's just going to come out too, so we can't say anything. <laughs> um, it's rules for everyone it's today. Everyone just going oh, yeah, no. How dare they? Rude. Anyway, we're going to go deliver. Quick delivery here in Chippewa. Nice house, long, long driveway. Uh, try to get something in before Ash goes to Florida. <laughs> See the house in the mirror. <laughs> we have a very long driveway that Siri thought it was a road. He's like, make a left. Uh, that's their driveway, Siri. <laughs> Yeah, mine, there's no uh, service, unfortunately, like this one. Today's the perfect weather because it's cool. Okay guys, it is 1.11, Ashley just left. I just took her case out to the car. I got emotional. I know it's crazy, but... Let me explain why I got emotional. It's not that she's going away on vacation and having a vacation, she deserves a vacation. And soon she'll be, she won't be able to fly. I mean, she could drive to Florida, but she won't be able to fly. But last year, when Pete went away, in August with his brother and family to Maine he never came back yes things were rocky before he left but he even told Luna I'll be back I'll be back and then he was gone 10 days on the eighth day he called me He called me to say he wasn't coming back and he hasn't lived here since so he's in Maine right now with his mum getting the cabin ready because they have family going up in July they own the cabin for those of you who don't know they own a cabin in Maine his mum and dad own the cabin in Maine that everybody goes on vacation to they've had it for years and years and years Pete's mum and dad used to go for the whole summer so him going to Maine was a bit even though he's not here, he doesn't live here anymore, we're separated, but it's like, and then Ash going to here, she just said to me, it's funny. She obviously knew what I was thinking, because she goes, I'll be back. I'm like, sure you will. She's telling Luna, I'll come back. I'm like, that's what dad said. Oh, it's stupid. I love you, Luna Bella. Thank you. Oh, bum in the face. Thank you very much. Luna knows how to lighten the mood, don't you, buddy? You're such a good girl. You're going to be a good girl for the next couple of days? And that's just, she's only gone for a couple of days. She's not even gone for long. I think it's just the whole, you know. 
not coming back thing. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. I need to eat. I'm hungry. I just ran to the store and got like some things that I could think of that I hadn't gotten yesterday. Um, we both got a small job each, but that was it. But at least it was something. So basically, I'm going to just take the next few days off because Ash has taken her car, obviously, and they're going to take an Uber from John's house. But I don't, I've not driven to Queens ever, ever. And I didn't want to, I just don't trust myself. I, I barely drive at the moment, obviously. When Pete gets back, hopefully I'll be getting a car um, back. The Volvo passed inspection, but he said it's still got issues. So I don't know. I'll have to talk to him when he gets back. But right now it is what it is. So I'm going to take a couple of days off myself and try and get caught up on some things I want to do with my Avon and Taste Free Simple because I'm coming to the end of my quarter with Taste Free Simple and I didn't realize. And with Taste Free Simple, we have um, quotas each quarter and um, nowhere near it. And I don't really want to lose my consultancy ship. <laughs> I, I want to still be a consultant because I really do enjoy Taste Free Simple. I need to do more with it and I don't. I mean, since Ash and I started this, we literally are flat out with Instacart. And you know what's sad? I'm better off today with the three days that we've done with Instacart than I was all week last week. It's really picking up. So it was like, oh, I was hoping they were gonna go away later in the year, like July, but John wanted to go for Father's Day weekend. They're staying at his aunt's house in a gated community, apparently with a pool and they're going to the water park tomorrow. So the plan is Ash is hopefully going to send me snippets of video that I can incorporate into the daily vlogs over the next few days. I'm not going to hound her for it. I've basically said, just let me know you've landed safe. I've got her flight number and everything. Could you stop licking me while I just get through this two minutes now? I've stopped bawling like a baby. Um, so I just want to know she landed safe and if she... If she remembers and she's doing something she wants to share, she, she'll send some video snip. It was her who said it. I wasn't going to bother her, but she said she would send some clips on a daily basis. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll get to see a little bit of where Ash is in Florida. But she was going to see my friend Jane, as you know, lives in Orlando. And um, she was going to see Cara and Chelsea while she was there for dinner tomorrow night. The two of them just got back from Vegas. Uh, the Jonas brother, brothers were performing in Vegas. And these two girls are hu the hugest Jonas Brothers fans you'll ever meet. And they, um, they went to every concert. I think it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They both now have COVID. So, you know, whoever started that now has spread it through concerts um, and God knows how many other people. So the poor girls now have COVID, so Ashley can't see them. And this is the first time Ashley's ever been to Florida. And they keep saying, come, come, come. And now she's pregnant. Like I said, you know, at a certain point you can't fly anymore. I think they said 26 weeks and Ashley will be 20 weeks next week. So anyway, she's not gonna get to see the girls, which is unfortunate, um, but I'm sure she'll have a great time relaxing by the pool and that's what she wants to do. So and anyway, guys, I'm going to love and leave you for now and I will talk to you in a bit. Hello, it's telling me I need more light, but sorry, guys, I saw the light I have right now. Whoa, Sue, I definitely need to color my hair. I was going to do it last night, but to be honest with you, Ash and I, neither of us, we didn't get to bed till three o'clock. She was this morning, she was doing things to get ready for today and washing. And then we didn't tell you this morning, our washing machine, we had a fiasco last night. Ash was trying to do her last load of laundry um, and the machine wasn't rinsing. I've told you guys this before that it holds the water sometimes and you have to put it on another spin, which reminds me, I need to go down and have a look now. And it wouldn't do anything. We tried putting it on spin, it wouldn't do anything. We tried putting it on another wash, it wouldn't do anything. It just kept shutting itself down. So I said to her, let's, let's leave it. <laughs> She'd opened the door at one point. There was water all over the basement. I had to like sort. She did most of it, but then I there was some more, which I sorted out. But anyway, that was at midnight. Um, I said, let's just leave it for a bit and then see. Maybe there's something with the computer. You know how they tell you everything. They turn it off, turn it on again. I said, maybe we're confusing the, the machine and it doesn't know what to do. It's just like, oh, forget it. I'm shutting down. Because <laughs> my, my washing machine speaks to me. I don't know about yours. Um, 
I wish it did. Anyway, we left it for about 45 minutes and then she went back down and she was able to put it on. Um, she was able to put it on um, uh, rinse again, like drain. So actually, I'm going to go down now and see what's happening with my laundry because I put some laundry in after she left. But anyway, her flight's been delayed. So I said, well, at least you're there now. You can just relax, go have something to drink, you know, and just chill out. I think they're not leaving until 6.30 and it's 4. What time is it? 4.30. So she's got a couple of hours now until the flight goes. But at least you're there and you're, you're relaxed. You're not rushing. They've been, gone through security and all that. So... She's been sending me little video snips. I said, well, number one, now I have to go back to England because I've just heard the plane and now I need to go home and see my mother. Um, just the sound of an airport makes you want to go away. And then um, there's a fountain and it, it's got like blue light. Well, anyway, I could just tell the last one actually said Happy Father's Day. So I'm going to put them in so you can see them. She said, like I said earlier, she will send bits of clips here and there whenever she can if she's doing something that she wants us to see or, you know, like is good to share. But guys, I think I'm going to leave it here because I'm not going to do anything else, to be honest with you. I just had a good cry at my TV program now. So I'm just <laughs> I haven't been crying since I last spoke to you guys, I promise. I'm playing phone tag with my doctor's office. Though. That is infuriating. We've been playing phone tag now since Monday and I've just left her another message. So it's like, tag, your it. I literally called. I didn't pick up because yesterday I picked up thinking it was them and it wasn't. So it's a completely different number to the number that I call. So I'm just trying to reschedule an appointment that I missed. Uh, not missed on purpose. I cancelled it, but they were supposed to get back in touch with me to reschedule and they never did. Um, but yeah, that's it really. So I hope you've all had a brilliant, brilliant Thursday, whatever it is you guys did today. I hope it was a good one and we will definitely see you tomorrow. Take care guys and stay safe.